what's one thing that you would do differently if you could do it all over again? Ooh, wow. <laughs> um, that's a good question. I, ooh, wow. So, you know, I don't know. I don't think I would do anything different because I, I really uh, learned from everything that I did. Uh, even though I thought that I didn't, I, I thought that I didn't want to be a police officer once I got into it because, it, you know, it really allowed me to do what I love best, right? Serve the public and help people. And so I thought, well, I could do this in law enforcement. And so, you know, the things that you see on television and I know law enforcement has changed and law enforcement officers have a bad rap. Uh, I still think that law enforcement is an honorable um, uh, position and profession, and I wouldn't change that for anything. I, I think I did really good based on, um, I did some good. I mean, there was a, there was a kid that uh, on my beat that had a, um, that was always late. And so I was always, I was at the, I was at the um, west side of town and he was always late for school. And I was like, oh my goodness. And so we, we had a truancy thing where we, you know, we would check for kids that were just hanging out at the station. And so I, I stopped this little boy and I said, you know, why are you always late? And he goes, I don't, I don't have, you know, I, I can't get up on time. I was like, you can't get up on time. So I said, okay, let, let me go to your house. So I took him to his house. He was, grandma was raising him with four four other siblings and um i said you know ma'am i said he comes to the station late every day I, and i know the school must be calling you and she said yeah they do and i said well you know why is he late she said well he didn't have an alarm clock and i was like he doesn't have an alarm clock well okay now of course this is before cell phones and you know everything is on your cell phones now but uh we took him to the store and uh, two officers and, and bought him an alarm clock and he wasn't late for school anymore. We set it for him and we told him how to use it. We told grandma, you know, this is what we were doing and he wasn't late for school. And you know, so it's those little things that you can do to affect somebody's uh, outcome that, you know, I probably wouldn't have had a chance to do had I not been a police officer. Hmm. So, hmm. so the, it just kind of makes you feel good that, you know, you can affect change. You don't, everyone doesn't have to be arrested. They don't have to go to jail for you to affect change. And so we learned that lesson. And that's what I tried to impart on the officers that work for me is that, you know, everybody doesn't have to go to jail. Let's see if we can get somebody to hit some help. Uh, you know, if you got a person that's, that's uh, need alcohol treatment, then you take them to the alcohol treatment center, you know? And so you try to get them some help. If the person is hanging out at the station, you take them to the homeless shelter. So, you know, looking at how you know you know you have to enforce the law you can't have people in the station but you can also you know do something to try to help uh you know find another way another alternative to putting them into the criminal justice system let's try to help them.